Hi, right, good evening, everybody. Stand on your lovely camera to show your lovely face. Don't let me do the big thing. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Right, please turn on your camera. Thank you. So yeah, I hope you like the song. I know it's your one of your favorites. So yeah, yeah. All right, good. Thanks. Thumbs, thumbs up. Hi, Kai Wen. Hello. Hi, Xiang Ru. Everyone. Good evening, everyone. Hi, Chen An. Hello. Good morning, Uncle Raymond. Hi. Good morning, Ming Yang. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, please turn on your camera. Warren, I cannot. But Hao Xian, can you please turn on your camera? Hao Xian, say my camera spoil. My dog spoiled the camera, cannot turn on. The mic was being eaten up by my dog. Okay. That sounds so American, blame on the dog. Yeah, it's so American, right? Okay, whatever it is. Anyway, uh, let's go to the lesson proper. Um, today, we are supposed to have a debate among the four teams. To tell me, I'm not sure y'all have come up anything, but so far, I don't see anything in the Google Classroom. So, I just didn't uh, submit it. I just didn't submit it. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, let's go. Uh, anyway, uh, welcome to your well, one week well deserved holiday starting from now at this moment. Okay, so with that, I don't want to torture you much uh, for any uh, other thing than the discussion later on. But uh, life still has to go on, lesson has to go on, learning must take place. So, okay, we are going to talk about war and cloning later. And uh, we are broke, we have been no, broke, we have been divided into four groups here. Okay. And later you gotta tell me how you're gonna do now. Next, we're gonna talk about aging society. Where where is where is the security for the elderly and seniors? Now, this topic is very important, children. Uh, whether you like it or not, I think we, we can't avoid as aging, we will age one day, we will die one day. You know, uh guys, what if I ask you, uh, if I ask you to write a letter to yourself, uh, okay. And then you put this uh, the time capsule inside your bottle, just to put it on the like you know that kind of thing. Then when you're 80 years old, uh, you open up and read that, that message to yourself. Or every 10 years, uh, you put it and see what have you done. See, this time capsule, like putting inside, like say, okay, I want to be successful. And let's say now you're uh, 14 years old, uh, okay? 14, uh, 10 years from now, you should be 24, right? Just like, um, yeah, 24, right? 10 years from now, 24, yes. So by then, you should be graduated already from your study, from your university, or maybe you come out to work. What is your in, uh, AIM? What is your aspiration, inspiration, and what motivates you? You mean by Right. So imagine you are writing for to yourself. Okay, I, I used to do that to my set four. Uh, at the beginning of the month, uh, sorry, at the beginning of the year, January, I'll ask them to write something about what motivate them and what they want to do for, uh, next year after they got the result. <clears throat> so somewhere two weeks or three weeks before their O-level exam or um, something like that, they will they will open up the letter and read to themselves, okay? Something like that. So while this uh, aging is, um, is part and parcel in our life, it's inevitable, we will age. As you as you know that uh, we are all from um, Chinese, uh, do you know there's this saying that, are you all freezing? Uh? No. Okay, Ming Yang, can you turn on your camera, please? Thank you. Thanks. I think you're lagging a bit. Sorry? I think you're lagging a bit. Or is yeah, it... yeah, I know. That's why I was talking, talking, then suddenly I see not the face are not moving. I'm very scared. Huh? How she don't let me keep repeating. Huh? Don't mind, please. If you don't turn on your camera, I have to report to my colleagues huh? because I got complaints for students don't turn on the camera. It's very hard for me, please. Okay, don't let me keep on repeating the same. Oh. Thanks, huh? Okay. All right, thank you so much. So what happened is that, um, where am I since I lost? So aging is inevitable. As you know, many years, thousands of years, uh, I think uh, uh, Yang Zhen, you will know, right? Qin Shi Wang, uh, want to look for a medicine like Chan Shen Bu. Uh, right? That's why Chang E, huh? that's why they eat the medicine, right? Or, or the, the Xian Dan. Uh. Okay, to, uh, went up to the, to the moons, okay, something like that. So again, uh, Ming Yang, don't do like that. No. I look, when I look at the picture, I'm very scared. No. Your, your screen, yeah, very scary. Such a handsome face, you can put like that, very scary. Okay, lucky it's not the seven month. No. Okay, now I would like you to later talk about this aging issue, but before that, okay, uh, Iti, can you read to the class <clears throat> this paragraph? For the increased longevity and improved health at older ages seen in many parts of the world represent one of the crowning 
achievements of the 20th century, these trends also represent significant challenges. Social aging can affect economic growth, patterns of work and retirement, the way that families function, the ability of governments and communities to provide <coughs> adequate resources for older adults and the prevalence of chronic disease and disability. So from there, you can see uh, for Han Ling and Tian Yu, uh, you know yesterday we used the define, right? The D-E-F-E -E, uh, with, the, with the extra E, uh, define. Don't worry, uh, to be fair to the rest of the other 11 students, I will use the define later on, okay? Right, Kaiwen, don't worry. Uh. This define, actually the formula is very useful. It's similar to the S-M-A-R-T, the setting, the main characters, the atmosphere, the rhythm, and the title. But this define with extra E is very good for argumentative essay. Usually it's very good for, I don't know, maybe IP students or express students. All right, so we just put it aside first. So Han Ling and uh, Tian Yu, you know yesterday, this is the define, right? The D, the definitions of the introductions of AG. Now you cannot escape this topic. Uh, you better, better pay attention. You might say, uh, Ayo Min Yang, please, please. Can, can I see a real face? Uh? I, I see already distorted. Uh. I, I cannot, I OCD, uh, don't mind. Uh. Uh, at least uh, Han Ling, how Xian show me the dog okay. Uh. You show me like that, I cannot take it. Uh. I get distracted. Uh, sorry. Uh. Like, no, how Xian just now you show me the dog, man. That one I can take it. But this Ming Yang uh, show me like that, I cannot take it. Ming Yi, are you there? Ah, okay, thank you. So these topics will definitely um, make way to your life. Part and puzzle is that your parents and I will get will be aging. The Singapore population will be aging. Uh, in Japan and in China, and I think China and Japan are, are going to be quite worse uh, because of the one child policy. But ah, thank you, Minya. I see, I just said thank you. You change your background again. Ah, yo. All right, so this aging population. No, no, wait, wait, wait. I suddenly have problem. I cannot change. Uh, okay, then you don't do the background. So what happened is that in set three or set uh set three, those of you uh taking social study, I think out of these 13 students here, I think at least 10 students will take social study which is compulsory subject, this topic will definitely have to do it. Oh, whether you like it or not, you will take confirm will take social study. You will definitely know this aging population. If you are the minister, how are you going to curb aging uh, issue? How are you going to prevent aging? How are you going to curb aging issue? How are you going to prevent aging? When you know when you age, I just, I just, um, now what time? I, uh, I, will, I brought my mom to the hospital just now for her dementia checkup. Okay, it took two hours. Oh, I'm so fed up. So cute. She tells my mom, can you know where is this place? I, I give you three things. Huh? Are you ready? I see whether you can remember. Huh? Okay, ready? Uh, name card. No, sorry, sorry. But, um, key, football, and balloon. Remember? Huh? Key, football, and balloon. Huh? After 10 minutes later, I will ask you whether you can remember what I say. So this is the way you test my mom. Do you know where you know? Uh, he asked, she asked one of the questions to my mom, do you know who is the prime minister of Singapore? She told her, uh, Vladimir Putin. Whoa, Singapore turned to become Russia. Whoa, whoa, Singapore have the most nuclear warheads in the world. Yes. Yang, Yang Chen, can you imagine say no, no? You're lucky you never say uh, who is the prime minister of Singapore? Hitler. <laughs> I tell you. I sit on the bed, I will sure fell down. Boom. <laughs> no, lucky, ah, Chen An and uh, Xiang Wu. My mom say that, Li Xian Long. Thank God, Kai Wen. If we say Hitler, I tell you, uh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Straight away, I think we call policemen with me. All right. So this is the starting. You see, aging populations affect a lot of things. Now now you know, right? I think, uh, Mingyi, you know, right? China now open up to have more children for like I better mute him uh, because he ta -ta 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 can hear the sound. So me, you know, China now have uh instead of one child policy, they allow two child policy, right? Why uh? Mingyi? Why? Anyone can tell me? Is it the decrease? Population is not going Population anymore. density. Yes, density. I like the way you say that. Thank you, Han Ling. Both of you, you are right. Thank you for, for enhancing that, both of you. Yes. So what happened, uh, Mingyi? If there's a decrease of density of the population in China, what will happen? 
There's no future generation. Okay, that is one thing. Uh. Overall, apparently, the overall, what happened to China's society and economy in 30 years' time to come or 40 years' time? Let's say we still maintain one child policy. Who is one child here? You want to raise out your thumbs? Who is the only child here? Oh, Xiang Ru, you want to be a child, 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 you want to be a child. Hey, Uncle Roger. No, no, I, um, Actually, Uncle Roger. No, no, no. no. Raymond, yes. Uncle Raymond, yes. Uh, wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> yes. Uh, when I was born, the child one policy hasn't been lifted yet. So, uh, my mom told me that in order to bypass this, um, 我的户口最一开始是在老家的亲戚那边的，之后长大了才转回来的. So it's sort of like a loophole. Wait, wait, wait. You are saying that before you were born, what happened? I, I, that part was lagging, sorry. Uh, the one child policy hasn't been lifted, but, but my mom said that mm -hmm. Okay, come on, Yang Zhen. I'm not, uh, I'm not saying your mom is lying. Uh. Your mom is not wrong, but be honest. Uh. If in a communist country, let's be honest. Uh, okay, At that time, uh, that was uh, 10 over years or long before you were. If any farmer will have more than two child or three child, they will be you know, taxing heavily and some even don't even cheap out. Uh, some uh, Okay. If they do that, uh, I mean, as a history teacher, I'm telling you, uh, from my experience, from the way I read the books and all these things. You see, that is the same. Do you know why Yang Zhen? In Singapore, the same also. No? At that time, the two child is enough. Some of my friends uh, told me, uh, they curse and swear the Singapore government at the time. Basket. My father got three child. Uh. You know what they say? You can joke. Uh, Hello, Minya Titi. So cute. No. What do you say? No? Kai Wen the Red say, you know, you know, there's recently they use the word Limpe, right? Uh, you know, Limpe have to go to school so far away. You know, the very upbeat way of he talking to me. Sorry, yeah. Uh? Okay, I'm using the very typical Singaporean, Yang Zhen. So this is the same thing, you see. When the government emphasizes a policy, and if you break the policy, the rules, you definitely have to pay penalty, so one way or another. Okay, maybe that, that whoever your, your moms know that their families, they are lucky or whatever. Okay, there's no way that when the government put the policy and they just close one eyes, then everyone, oh, how come Yang Zheng can do? Uh? How come Chen An also can do? How come uh, uh, Warren, Warren also can do? Why I cannot, you get what I mean? So that means that there is no one in the world. So it's sometimes maybe one eye, one eye, one eye, I don't know. Do you understand? That is only maybe 10% they are lucky to allow the, the farmer to have children. Maybe it's case by case basis. You know what I mean? In Singapore at that time, if you have more than two children, they will ask you to have abortion. They will ask you to use contraceptive or condoms or, or pills, or they even uh, give you limited access to certain uh, school privileges. You get me now? And in the policy, uh, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew said that uh, the educated ladies, uh, Xiang Ru, you hear me? Xiang Ru, Yiqi, Ziyue, Guo Ren, Chen An, you hear me? Those educated women, uh, please give more to children. Ming Yang, Hao Xian, Ming Yu, Han Lin, you think that, huh? So, those who don't have a lot of children, you don't send them more, right? So, do more than send them more. This is in one forum where everyone got offended and everyone started shooting Mr. Li Guan Yu as I know. Yeah, in the 1980s, but Li Guan Yu mentioned that, you see, no, the government has spent so much money to educate you guys to become the top career woman. At least give birth a bit more. Lah. But that, that backfire. Because the Li Kuan Yew already see that, okay, it's going to be aging populations. So as such that he want to implement something that give birth. But excuse me, 生孩子是我的事,关你屁事。对吗? Right? Uh, then the thing is that every time when, when I cannot take it, say, wow, so many children uh, must be the Malay. Wow, Malayans are too many. But it's very racist, right? Huh, Kai Wen? Uh, then every time when there's any cases that is uh, beating the child or abuse or any uh, 
fetal file or, or any uh, rapes or molest must be the Malay. What the WTF? Eh? It's really no. It's not fair, no. You mean the Chinese won't do that, man? It's not, you see? So it comes back to the chicken and egg issue. Yeah. Which one? Where is it? It comes about who? It's not just the Malay or the Chinese. It's, it's, a, it's a society issue. So this, this month, we are talking about the war issue, the society issue, and the security issue. Guess what? My set one was very, very interesting. Yeah? He put security issue as a what? Physical security issue, talking about um, your biometrics, using a thumbprint, your CCTV, um, your, your watchdog, the German shepherd looking after the house as a physical security. Remember, huh? these are the set one students. They were very creative. So now I'm, I'm just young Chen. The one child policy, yeah, is after that many years they realize they cannot. And the most repercussion I mean it. Why do you think that it is so so critical for the Chinese government to to revise it into two child policy? And now Singapore also say like two or more if you can afford, right? So why I mean it. You read very widely. Just imagine I mean it, I mean it. You take over Xi Jinping, ah. Okay, you are the president of China. So why do you think this is a very critical issue for the aging population to create China as a major issue? Everyone think, please. Okay, everyone think, please. Seriously. It's going to you affect know, the... China, if, yeah? if, he's the, if he's the president, the China will fall. Oh, you're very bad, eh, Ming Yang. Then Ming Yang, you make sure Ming Yang don't go to your country, yeah? You ban him his passport, you ban his passport to go to China. He only can go to Hong Kong only. Okay, okay, Mingyi, carry on. Come on, I need to continue. I really give you the hint here already. Mingyi, come on. You don't type, huh? I can't see, huh? Because I'm not looking at the typing message. Huh? I want you to talk, huh? Is it because in the future there are more elderly? Yes, that, that is what more uh, the government foresee, my dear. Yes, but that is not the real issue. The aging population is, is one of the issues, but not the main, main issue for China. Anyone can, can, can give any ideas? Warren, what do you think? Uh, I think I know, maybe. Yes, Yang Chen. Uh, China is a manufacturing uh, economy that needs a large pool of labor to maintain the revenue of the country. Uh, if the population got old, the working uh, capable population decreases, which means you can no longer produce as much stuff as you can before. Then, because you have to give people to the elderly as they can't really work, uh, the money came from younger people and then due to the one child policy and lesser younger people they're going to be less money collected from them to give to the elderly which results in taking more from them which added, added more pressure which make them less likely to have children so the thing just spirals on and on again i like the word you use the word spiral i think this is recorded uh, i will want to show this recorded to my set three set four who's studying social study any more uh, let me see. If you if this is a, a hundred marks, uh, you already got seventy marks for the poll. If I'm going to give you this as a paper exam, well yeah. done. And, I, I and also one part, another one part. thing. Yes, sorry. Is that, is that whenever a family can only afford to have one or two child, they will usually choose a boy, because we have to. It's in the culture to preserve the name of the family, so more likely to choose a boy than a girl. And again, it destabilizes the gender Thank quality. You. Okay, any more? You make two mistakes from here, not your fault. Lah. First mistake is that you are saying that the country, we China or Singapore, any country, we are talking to have more humans to do production labor. Don't forget, lah, your next generation is all about AI and robotics. All these robotics and AI will replace humans. All right. So even you have a lot of kids, uh, they will replace uh, number one. Number two, you say 传宗接代. 
our Chinese belief is that guys are the one who carry out the name. That is why in China, a lot of them who give birth to children, that is girls, they will throw away a board or, or give away or whatever. That is a kind of mentality that we Chinese have to change seriously. All right. But then again, I'm also, uh, Yang Zhen, I'm a very typical Chinese uh, person. But sometimes after years of going through uh, Sui Yen, uh, if my children one day, if I have 10 sons uh, and all of them cannot get, get married or don't have children, or ima imagine one of my sons or a few of my sons are LGBT. It's a gay. How? True not, Yang Zhen. Are we, am I going to kill him off? Right, so this is a, sorry uh, guys, this is very serious. Uh, this is not a loving matter. Because it will happen in any one of us in this modern society. All right. Like last week, somebody watched the war song, right? The like, war, war is stupid, right? Taiwan, did, did you play the, did I play the song to, to show you? Go on, uh. Don't ever. Uh. I didn't play the war song to you. Uh. Seriously, uh, when you watch the, the songs, uh, listen to the song and the person, uh, he's actually a, a gay, uh, a transverse, a man to a woman, so-called. But he's not really a woman, uh. But he behave like that. So that is in England. So then to answer your second question, uh, Yang Zhen, is that that concept that they have to change. Because of that, the government decided to have two-child policy. That means I'm giving you another chance to give birth to a boy if your first one is a girl. Okay, But that concept has to change, uh, seriously. Now, after so many years, I, I used to think, oh, guys is the best, woman is sucks, lousy. Seriously, I don't want to be angry. I don't want to but so what, 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 what go through a lot of ups and downs in my life, uh, I think uh, the women in my life, uh, there are so many you know, children. First is my great grandmother to my grandmother. Sorry if I'm a bit emotional here. Uh. Then is my grandmother who passed away of breast cancer. My the other grandmother, I don't know where is she now. And then now next is my mom. Then my wife, my mother-in-law, my daughter. Then next time my granddaughter, my great granddaughter. Now, all this is part also in the blood, the family. So if you are talking about, yes, I agree, Mingyi, I, I read your, your correct. Not only that reduce international competitiveness, um, I'm talking about the internal side, right? The, the girls are important. Like, you remember, uh, 8th of March, we celebrate International Women's Day right now. Ah. Okay, you all must know this. Huh? This is definitely a fact to all of you in the future when you have become adult. Huh? Okay, it's, I'm so proud that I have International Day. Huh? But bloody hell, Kai Wen, how come got no International Men's Day? Huh? <laughs> bloody hell, got International Women's Day. Huh? Ali, why is there no International Men's Day? Huh? Um, to be fair, we have always been unfair to the women since the beginning. Huh? Huh? How shen? Why is there no no. But last time, last time men treated women very badly. Very true. I agree. I think it's time to pay back to the women. Can we all the guys clap for the women? To your mom, to your grandma. Seriously, no. let's clap. Let's clap. Seriously, uh, thanks to your grand grandma and your mom. Seriously. And your mama is very hard to give birth to you. I know that you are very hard to give birth to me. Okay? Like you don't want to look at me. I have never had a child, but I know it's very painful. Okay, carry on, guys. Um, next one. Uh, uh, can you continue from next paragraph? Uh, no, never mind. Uh, Chen Ru, can you continue, please? Okay, Chen Ru, you can continue. Okay, Chen Ru, you can continue. Okay, Chen Ru, you can continue. Okay, Chen Ru, Like, uh, this is so logical. This is physical and physiological. And social changes in a person over time. It is a phenomenon that every individual is bound to experience. Therefore, it is only natural for one to hope to live in a society that respects, supports, and caters to various needs of the elderly. Now, Mingyi, why I ask you why is it important? You see, uh, seriously, uh, take note. Uh, imagine you are the minister, you have a budget of $110 million. Uh, 
you have to allocate half of your $10 billion, maybe $5 billion to buy elderly things, uh, to make elderly uh, infrastructure, uh, build the uh, elderly home or buy more medicines to, to develop more medicine to take care of elderly. So, uh, uh, Tian Yu, Ziye, uh, Han, Hao Xian and Ming Yang, what happens if that the money is supposed to allocate for defense uh, to buy weapons to protect the country? Uh? You know what I mean? Uh? Now you, that means it's already diverted. So yes, you cannot say gone to way. Uh, maybe. One day you also get old. Uh. You also want the government to spend money to take care of you, right? Maybe. Because during your young age, uh, say from the moment you got your, your Harvard degree or Oxford degree or Beijing Taxi degree, or NUS, the moment you come out to work, uh, you work for 50 years uh, and you pay your taxes, you help the volunteer in the society, you educate your children well, and then by the time you think you retire, retire, you should take care of the government. That's why we have Pioneer Generation card, right? You heard of it, right? Xiang Lu, you think what? The Pioneer card and then the Medeca card. Uh, you see? And in China, I went to Beijing, I saw some people in that place, 书法他们有拿那种pension的这些老前辈是真的有打过八国不是八国人情那种看日的那种英雄 can imagine uh, all your great grand, grandfather don't count your grandfather uh, your grandfather maybe not really uh, it's your great grandfather uh, who is the one who really uh, see a live bullet flying in and out from the Japanese uh, and really take care of protect the mighty China so you look at it. Uh, so Mingyu, if there's too many aging populations, uh, the budget has to allocate to them because they are the one who take care. You see the Lao Wai uh, in US, uh, the senior citizen don't do anything. Uh, like, you know, they will enjoy their life, go, go golfing. That is true. Uh, go golfing, play chess. La, they go Hawaii. Uh, go cruise. Uh, huh? then and then see, they're uh, just wearing those shorts that look very, very old. They are very relaxed. Uh. Now you see Singaporean, all the auntie, uncle, she has a cupboard. She has a tissue paper, right? She has a food court. 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 All these things. Like yesterday, I went to this uh, 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 um, a very high class, uh, this, uh, what is the name? Uh? A Paris, uh, something like Starbucks, uh, with my ex teacher. Uh. So he's sitting down eating. Then suddenly got this. Auntie, I think 60 plus, uh, came to clear our place. Uh, we are so nice. They say, no, Auntie, Auntie, we clear ourselves and throw it. But because it's made of porcelain plate, uh, I cannot take the porcelain plate and throw it into the rubbish dump like I would. <laughs> it's not paper cup, right? So I help them. It's very heavy, no? And they are 60 plus. Eh? Seriously, uh, children. Sorry, uh, can I stand up? I bow to your office. Uh, I'm so sorry. I apologize. Uh. Would you want your parents who are now 65 years old to continue to work this kind of job. No, no right? Can I don't see your dog again? If not, I go to your house, I'm going to take your dog away. Warren, Ming Yang, none of you, right? Kai Wen, correct, not? agree? Yang Zhen, Ziye, Ziye, thumbs down if you don't want, right? Right, Ziye, I can't see your thumbs down. Right, Ziye, you don't want also, right? Huh? Ming Yi, you don't want, right? Then, what do you do? Just you must be able to study, right? Take care of your parents. So my children, my student ask me in social studies, so Uncle Raymond, uh, so are you saying that Singapore are not taking care of the aging populations? Then the, 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 because of a high cost in Singapore and then the children are so uh, very difficult to take care of themselves because also the standard of living very high and all these things. True. Uh, but then again, it's not just Singapore issue. Uh, because we are Asian, uh, we are Asians. In US, they don't really take care of their parents. You know why not? Because they let the government take care. Because when they are young, they pay very heavy taxes to the government. So now they tell the government, hello, brother, now is your time to take care of my parents. You don't believe you can ask any of your friends, your relative who stay in Western country. My uncle is staying in New Zealand. Okay, he's paying the taxes and GST. I think, I think GST is 20%. 20% oh, on 50%. 20%. If I'm not wrong, I, I double check. Okay, if I'm not wrong, I think uh, in Britain, the GST is like 35% or something. Uh, That's why uh, everything that's so expensive. Can you imagine like, I want to eat one fish and chip? Uh, 
35 dollars <laughs> but of course the fish actually very big like, but what's the point i can't even finish it right so can you imagine uh, this is the things uh, why we are talking about you don't tell me uh, hey, uncle raymond i only said two or uh, you tell me all these things for what because you're going to impact you because i'm ringing a bell to you now when your parents are 65 they tell you a new year let's say a new year you don't have to do it then kai wen they say mommy you don't have to do it 我我我早上照顾你的儿子，我下午去做 part time 啊。你说妈咪不缺钱用吗？为什么你要做这些 ？But if your parents sixty five years old 啊，他们去做义工啊 ，volunteer 啊，啊 ，then you all agree right？ 以及以及 you agree 了，以及 agree right？ 所以你妈咪有那种 skill 啊，她去教那些人做 porcelain 啊，还是教他们跳 line dance 啊 ，then 就可以对不对哦？哎，做工就不可以啊，做工也是 serve the society 吗？ Go and think about it. Uh. If your parents are well and uh, okay and they're willing to do some part-time job like work in McDonald's, all these things, uh, let them go ahead. Seriously, don't. Unless they, their health cannot take it anymore, they got bullied in the workforce, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, then you, you tell them retire. Just like my mom like that. When she works until she cannot, then she stops. Because you make their, your parents aging, uh, stay at home, they uh, will become old people. Either that, Go and do volunteer. So the one is, is he? You know, you have to have a more baby, oh, for your parents and your in-laws to help. Then they are very busy. Okay. Ah. So joke aside, children, this aging population is really close to our heart because one day all of you will get old aging, and who is going to take care of you? Okay. I ah, any one of you have went to any old folks home for your VIA? 有吗？千如，你看到那些老人吗？很可怜哦。你看了会哭哦。I got one student never seen this in their life. Like, he went there, he 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 was shocked. No, the first one he was so utter. Ah, okay, all of you are. I can deal with Kaiwen. I don't mind. The first thing after he was standing beside me, you you say what the? He really say the f word out. No, very loudly. But it's not angry. No, he was so shocked. No, shell shocked to stand there. He was standing root deep, deep rooted there. Oh, by the way, he's an NA student. Uh. You know, he's an NA, uh? normal academic student. Uh. He's an NA student. Uh. I turned to him. Why? What happened? I don't want to mention the name, uh, Mr. Shong. I think I need to study hard. And you can see, like, he really, I, I hold his hand. Uh. I feel his suddenly his hand is very cold. I will never forget the scene. Uh. And the old folks home is called the uh, Moy's home in Thompson. I went there a few times. Okay, some of them are really, their, their children give up on them. Some of them on tube, right? Some of them feed with tube. Huh? They can't eat, right? They have to feed through the nose. They have to feed through the nose. Huh? Seriously. So children, huh? don't ever make your parents feel bad now. The moment you hurt them now, huh? it's like a time bomb. No? Because at the end of the, their, their, their life expectancy, which is 60 and above, uh, their spare part of their organs will start to deteriorate. And thanks to you, uh, all this year, you make them angry, make them sad, make them mad. You are taking a small knife, cutting their heart internally. Don't do that. Uh, because one day you're going to be parents yourself. Okay, don't use the word, I hate you, mommy. Uh. The word hate stands for have all thoughts of evil. Don't ever use the word hate. Uh. Please. Then my student said, why you keep mentioning mommy, mommy? You mean daddy not important, man? Guys, we are going to be I agree. Yeah, to protect the family. You father, is the father. He So think about it. This, this today lesson, I hope you understand. Uh. When people ask you, when your mom, you look here, look at my, my face here. When your mom is nagging at you or your father is nagging you at your ear there, huh? you better appreciate it. Huh? One day this noise nagging gone. Huh? gone huh? I tell you, huh? there's two choices. One is they gone forever in this world. Second is they give up on you. That's it. I tell you, huh? yesterday I was sitting with my ex-teacher. Huh? I don't want to mention the school. Huh? True story, you know. It's a primary school. Huh? So this counselor brought this student. You know, there are some students that don't bother to go to school because it's not, they don't want to go to school. Their parents don't want to let them go to school. No. I've seen that in my secondary school, huh? to, to be honest. Huh? 
but this my ex colleague was telling me he came he was uh, he was staying in US for a few years uh, and then he came back and then he shared with me so he said wow the moment I the student went to the conference room uh, with a female counselor I was there because this boy is a boy uh, the moment when the counselor asked him to lift out the shirt uh, lift out the shirt uh, behind his back uh, there are a lot of cane mark I think more than 10 over came up. My, my friend was stunned. Really stunned. Both of the teacher were stunned. The next thing, the, the, the boy turned around. Uh, it's a nine years old boy, uh, by the way. Turned around. You know the first thing he asked? Uh, is it because my mommy don't love me anymore? Why is she doing that to me? Think about it. Uh. Why? Is it the education got some problem? Is it economy, you see? When, uh, who was reading this just now? Uh, uh, right? Is it this one? All this year? Now you understand why? I, I don't put things inside for fun and laughter. Uh. I want you to feel it. So when you write your argumentative essay about aging, uh, and it's going to impact you because some of you will be going to university to study social science, all these things. It's, we are going to be quiet. To plant the seed. I was shocked. I hear my, my, my the other colleague was like, Walao, eh. <laughs> what kind of this? They have to go door to door knocking. Hey, chill out there, huh? She said, They have to cater a bus to fetch these kids to come to school. No? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Singapore. I'm so proud that the teachers walk the talks. And that school, I salute to them. It's so stressful. Eh? It's so stressful. No? So please, uh, sometimes you can wake up in the morning to go to school. Uh. Think, uh, your parents have to wake up in the middle of the night when you are only one year old to wake up in the middle of the night to feed you, to change your pamper, to burp you, and when you are fever, they sponge you. You complain, wake up to go to school and, and receive education, and you still curse and swear. That's why my, my younger son, every morning, wake up, rah, 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 angry. Uh. One day, I fed up at foolish age. I really have the word in front of him. Uh. <laughs> That's me. Uh. Uh, you don't go to school. One more time, don't go to school. You know, there are some country, yeah. This is me, oh, sorry, guys. If you don't like my way of style, I'm so sorry. This is Uncle Raymond, okay? This is me. I'm telling you, because I don't like to see children disrespect their parents. This is me, okay? This is me. If I respect my parents, I expect my children to respect his mom or me or even grandparents. That is me. All right, so that day, to be honest, my son, my younger son was very rude to my mom. I straight away take the bell, uh, listen to the bell, uh, my bell, uh, pop, 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 three times. Three times. You, I, I told my son, you wrote to daddy, you scold me about reality, I don't do that. Then. You wrote to grandma, haha, good luck to you. Spare, spare the rock, spoil the child. This is recorded. You want to you charge me, go ahead. I'm a policeman, charge me. That's me. I don't give a damn. You are rude to my mom. Kaiwen, can you imagine if one day I go out with my mom? Uh, then I push my mom down. I scolded her. I think you walk over, you punch my face. Uh. I deserve it, right? True now. Kaiwen. True now. Honey, you agree with me? If I, I'm very rude to my mom, I kick my mom. Well, I think you will come and wet me. Well, Uncle Raymond, I really disrespect you. Uh. You're really an idiot. True now. Agree with honey. This is logical and it's not A1. Because you see, we are talking about here. Today's governments around the world are facing the tough challenge of providing adequate health care and housing for the elderly. Why these children cannot go to school and being beaten? Why Xiang Ru, you go to old folks' home, these old folks people have to stay in their home. Is it because their children give up on them or because they don't have children or because their children abandon them or because their children suck their, their, their income, uh, took away their money, their house, and then throw them to old folks' home? Wow, this is really not a good thing, not a good thing, not a good Why? Because see, due to the possible ineffective allocation of funds on the lack of concern for its elderly citizens, why do you see some countries, they spend a lot of money in their weapon, in their, their other things, but they do not have allocations of aging? You can very disheartening that children, if your parents were taking care of you, and when they are old, all they, hey, come on. I mean, uh, Chenan, do you agree that, uh, Xiang Ru? Do you think your, when your mom is 65 years old or 70 years old, do you think your Chenan gave me 100 kuai? Do you think they can eat 100 kuai? No, 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 no
，最多你给他十块，他吃一一碗面，可能那时候 inflation 啊 ，maybe 现在那个碗那个碗汤米现在是四块钱，可能摆的汤十块钱 ，ten dollars spend 啊。But if your parents will do ask you every day for hundred dollars, you still have to give them, right? Unless they say they go for gambling or or take drugs, whatever. I don't think so, right? They deserve more than hundred dollars. Agree, not? Can you? You agree? And someone you're the only child, right? Can you? Xiang Ru, you are the only child, also, right? Like me, like that. How? If you are not going to work hard for yourself, 难道你要靠你的老公吗？那 Can you? 难道你要靠你的老婆吗 ？Nothing wrong. Hey, what happened? Can you? Your 老婆也是 only child. 但像如你的老公也是 only child 怎么办？他也要照顾他的 parents 啊！你不可能叫你的老公说，哎、hey, ， take care of my parents， don't take care of my parents， 这样是不对的嘛？像如对不对？所、so, 以你看， that means you got two burden really， not say burden 啊， sorry， wrong words， then you got two res， two heavy responsibility， 对不对？ then you go say， 哎，不然老公啊，你把你爸爸妈妈跟我爸爸妈妈一起放在老人院，他们一起可以打麻将， no 啊，这是不道德，真的。Then I cannot stand now.、Uh, their pa- their children go overseas and work. Then put their parents in Singapore or other countries. This is aging population. I'm not talking rubbish here because all these will affect later on in your comprehension passage, in your social study, and also in the structure response questions and in your essay. <coughs> Ying Yang, can you continue for a while? Minya, Warren, ah, sorry, Kaiwan, ah, Kaiwan, you think, don't think. Ha, Lin, can you continue for me? Due to the possible ineffective allocation of funds or the lack of concern for its elderly citizens by the government, there is a possibility that a large proportion of the aged are neglected and are left scrounging, scrounging for basic necessities or struggling with myriad health issues associated with age. I tell you, ah,、uh, if you anyone VIA go to those ah、uh, one room flat and knock on the door and give their、uh, groceries for them, do you have to the, have you done this? You go down to door and the uncle, 新年快乐啊、uh, Then you see their one room flat. I tell you, ah,、uh, the the house they got don't have windows on. The windows is only the kitchen window. And then when they open the door, the main door, wow, the the strain of smell cannot take it on. It's very dark at the end. It's not really dark lah. Sorry, um. I went there a few times. Some of them is uh diabetes are、uh, they on wheelchair, okay? They will hold on to their urine or back of urine to sign all these things. If you don't want your parents to have all these things, with a ping of hell, from today at this moment now, I think you have to do justice to yourself, to work hard. The more you write, the more you study well, you are giving them the best vitamins. Seriously. So if you guys are very stressed, for example, ten you, you are very stressed, playing game stress, honey. If your parents say, ah,、uh, ten you, can you stop playing game now? Ah,、uh, honey, can you stop looking at handphone? Okay, yes, mom. What is it about? Remember, ah,、uh, oh, and they ask you to stop.、Much. No, I'm just giving an example. Okay, don't don't get angry, ah.、Uh. I'm just giving. Don't 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 forget, ah.、Uh. You should thank God. There this story I always share with you, right? About John, right? When Peter was, uh, when 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 Peter was, um, in the swing. The father say, Peter, please go home now. The Peter say, five minutes. Did I tell you this story? No. Then, then the the father sit there. Peter, five minutes out. Let's go. Daddy, can I have another five minutes? Then he continue three four times until I、uh, turn on the lady beside. She cannot take it anymore. She said, tell you, ah,、uh, excuse me, sir. If I were you, I will just drag my son off. And the gentleman turn turn around, ah,、uh, turn on, and you see, he look at the the lady. He say, but John. Didn't have the five minutes. The elder son died of leukemia. His father was heavily working, spending time doing business. Think about it, ah.、Uh, cherish that every few second, ah.、Uh. How often, ah,、uh, Chen An, Xiang Ru, Tian Ru, Zi Yue, Guo Ren, and Yi Qi, ah,、uh, or any one of you, ah,、uh, while you're at home studying now, ah,、uh, your parents come and disturb you, talk to you. But one day, ah,、uh, finally you got a scholarship, you go to overseas and study, ah,、uh, and then you sit there, ah,、uh, in the cold winter, ah.、Uh, And think of your mama 的那个汤圆。世上只有妈妈好，我 miss 我妈妈的汤圆啊。I get the feelings by the way you sang it. Um, I get the feelings. It just ruined everything. It just ruined everything. 
I get the feeling uh, when I was studying in England for a short period of time, uh, I miss my mother-in-law cooking, my mom cooking, and my wife. But I told myself, I have to do it, man. And this is why I did it. Uh. Last Saturday, I was doing my police training. Uh. Because I, I, I second time then I passed, some of them took three, four times then passed. Uh. The first time I feel a turn up is because I did not punch my buddy. Because I had to punch him because he was my suspect. I had to punch him. Okay? Then my officer said, Raymond, you have to punch him. If not, you, I feel you. But I cannot punch him there. It's my buddy. I said, this is an exercise I know. But you have to trick it that he is a bad guy. He's a suspect. You have to punch him, take him down, handcuff him. Then you complete the test. The second time I told myself, in order to pass, I told my buddy, sorry, uh, if I were to punch you, don't, don't be hardened. And guess what you told me? Buddy, if I punch you, no problem. Say yes. So my aim, my, my officer told me, Raymond, if you don't shed blood in the training, uh, you're going to shed the real blood in the real world. Right? Right? 如果是在外面一个真的一个坏人是真的我没有好好的控制那个situation啊 my body might be killed in the in, in the during the, the 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 chase or during the burglar or during the fighting so children please at this moment take everything seriously because you only live once okay you only live once you have to do it because your parents also came to this world come to this world only once and please appreciate them so when they ask you to say, talk to you, you say, yes, mommy, yes, daddy, what you want? Uh, can I continue my things? Hey, can you stop it now, Mingyi? Can you don't play with you? Can, can you spend money? Okay, okay, I don't play. Think how, ah. Uh. Uh,可是你没有好好坐下来跟你父母亲聊天,对话,也是不会死嘞。可是你会后悔一辈子啊。你自己去选。because one day, when you're studying like that, then one day you go overseas and study, then for three, four years, you cannot come back like COVID like that. Uh, then how? Or maybe after you study there, uh, some company, uh, wow, Kai Wen, I will employ you to be the CEO of this company. One month, 20,000 US. Your children can study international school. Would you want to come back? No, right? Of course, right? You study so hard, you, still, you get this thing, right? All right, Kai Wen, right? Yang Zhen, right? Can you correct now? Send down correct now. Uh, then imagine Chenan, your husband is a high flyer. Maybe he's an officer. Okay, he you need to bring the whole army to the, 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 the state to practice. Then you have to follow him, right? Correct or not? So you have to do it. Then how? Then you miss your mommy, you call hey, Zoom uh, or Skype. Uh, you will never have the feeling of touching and hugging. Think about it. So aging populations is really close to our heart. Uh. So in order for them to age in a, their silver lining, uh, please age, let them age gracefully. Let them age. And he's lying. <coughs> Do you just lie? Please. <coughs> Sorry, my He's wife like yeah, extremely yeah. badly. Yeah, correct. So sorry about it. Okay, uh, Tian Yu, can you read to the class, please? Uh, try to get share screen. Oh, uh, you unshare the screen. Yeah. Oh. Left, huh? I think it's the once the thing down. Okay, so sorry. Okay. Yeah, because it... if you leave, then it will also close. Okay, so Singapore currently has one of the fastest growing economy economies in the world however it has it also has an extremely low birth rate and an appealing appealingly high rate of aging approximately 10 percent of the population of 5 million is age over 65 uh, 65 this figure will increase to about 70, 25 percent by the end of, by the year 2020 
with such shocking statistics. Statistic. Oh my god. Many questions come to mind. A young man may worry about how he will find the means to support his elderly parents as well as his own family. A woman close to retire may be concerned about her future and wonder whether she will have to perform many jobs to meet to meet to make ends meet. Thank you. You see, our children, you know, sometimes I want to tell this to all of you, uh, please make jewelry to your dick scow, uh, don't mind. Uh. You know, sometimes you ask your parents to buy this, buy that. She, they might refuse to buy. It's not they don't love you, no. Because they, they are saving for a reading day for your future study. They might save the money for you to buy a house, to go for a university, or to start a business, or to, in case that you come up from university, uh, at that point of time, you can't find a job so they can give you some money to tie through the difficult times. So, wait, it's homo. Uh. So, sometimes you think about it, your parents, EKE a living is not easy. Uh, please. Today, you can have a nice house, nice meal, good clothing, air con to sleep, and parents uh, loving you. Can I use the word uh, children? Sorry. Uh. Just shut up and do a good job. Uh. Okay? Just shut up and do a good job. Don't complain too much. There are eight to nine million children in this whole entire world will not enjoy anything like you, especially now in Ukraine. Huh? Some of the children are really suffering. Their father might be killed in the war zone, both in Russia as well as in Ukraine. So be all right? Okay, I know all of you are very stressed in one way or another, but this stress is worth to take it because you know your futures lie in your hands to have a better future. But if you really cannot take your stress uh, for whatever reason, uh, open up your hearts to others who care for you because you are not alone. I told you, right, I also have a lot of stress. Okay, I stress that my hair is dropping. Oh, uh, you see, Jiang Lu purposely want to comb her hair in front of me. I know I got no hair. I still comb her hair. <laughs> it makes me so stress. <laughs> stress increase, hairline in decrease. And wrinkles, wrinkles, water tone. As the stress increases, the hairline decreases. You see, uh, you see, at this Zhiye, her hair is very short, she's not afraid. Look, I know Zhiye is so comfortable. Okay, okay, Zhiye, can you read to the last paragraph, please? Wait, ah, uh, is it last paragraph? <coughs> yeah, come, Zhiye. Um, it is the duty of any government to give priority to the needs and demands of its citizen and take steps to address them. Thus, Singapore's government has to formulate policies to address the possible problems of an aging population and take preventive measures to counter the same. This reminds me of Korean peoples are very respectful to the elderly. And Chun Lao Jing Xian is also one of the way the Chinese we do that, right, to the elderly. And Singapore are also the same thing. We are Asian countries. Let's compare to the Western, not so much. I don't see that. Um, if that's the case, we are Asian people. That's what the US read, you see. You want to format, formulate a policy that addresses aging populations. That means uh, our government has a heart and soul to take care of these aging people who has contributed so much to Singapore for the past many years of their entire working life. In Shui Shi Yen. As such, we give them a lot of benefits. Like this afternoon, I brought my mom to see doctor. Huh? Listen, uh, all the medical bills will be 50% off because he's a, she's a pioneer generation. She's born in 1946. And she got these uh, uh, pioneer things and, and all these discount. And she got MediSafe. He cut, he'll take away my MediSafe or her MediSafe. And I asked the nurse, the pharmacy, how much do I need to pay? You don't pay a single cent, Mr. Raymond. You will be covered some subsidy and also by the medicine. It's only $24, uh, Kaiwen. Not much, right? I want to give you 20 cents to pay for your mom. Because I don't have money to pay for my mom's health. I don't have money to pay for your mom's health. I don't have money to pay for your mom's health. I don't have money to pay for your mom's health. 等一下哈、哦，杨震，凯文去那个摩洛玻璃那边拿二十块给我，你看看。<笑> OK OK， All right。So this is a very simple essay. <coughs> I expect you guys to do something about it and write it up if you can. Next, look at the picture here. 
Uh, please take note that this is not for fun and laughter. These are all taken in the ministry website. Okay, let me explain. This eight active agents hubs and senior programs in Singapore key benefits increase mobility so that you see i told you right if your parents feel like working let them continue to work but don't do heavy stuff keep your mind active improve the quality of life so maybe they think that uh okay uh yang chen or hao shen or Chen Lu, maybe you also got a lot of expenses you have to you have to pay your tuition fee for your children uh car installment house installment okay that might don't need to give mommy daddy money okay daddy mommy is working I still can afford to do something. Uh, so sometimes, uh, like for example, your parents might want to do volunteer work, but maybe they only pay peanuts. Not much, huh? but they are happy. That's the choice. The program is good of exercise. Yes, you can see uh, in, in uh, our Asian country, we do Tai Chi, we do uh, line dance, we do cooking. Uh, we do a lot of things, a uh, handicraft. So see, these are all the things that to keep us continuously to be more active so that our brain will not deteriorate. And active aging hubs, if we're talking about NTOC, all these things, uh, just, just for your information, sir, it's, it's important uh, because some of them are sending to the home nursing foundations where their children have to go to work. Okay, then they go to this nursing home are heavily subsidized by the government. So at night, it's just like a childcare, you know. Uh, okay, uh, Chenan. So imagine you and your husband working, then you put your baby in a baby care, right? Then after work, you and your husband go and pick up your son. So the same thing for this elderly. Morning, the son and daughter will put, put the mommy and daddy there because nobody want, nobody at home. Are, and they may not want to have a helper or maid. So after work already, they come back and fetch their mommy and daddy home. And all these meals are provided. Uh, they will sleep, they will enjoy, <coughs> they will sing song because I brought my mom there to, to exercise. Then I came over. I went there and see, uh, wow, they do handicraft there. Eh? They do coloring. It's just like those, you know, K1, K2 or Kaiwen when you are doing coloring like that. It's like going back to the old K1, K2 for the old people. Seriously. I think it's more of entertainment rather than learning, I think. They will do exercise, um, you know, because of their motions, they are quite weak with it. Some really have to sit on the wheelchair the whole day. And then when they go to the toilet, it's very inconvenient. Seriously, very inconvenient. Okay. Especially all our mummies are. Uh, when your mommy give birth to your huh, their backbones and their 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 this uh the this uh, what do you call um their legs huh, because of their calcium will be lost. And every year your mommy by right have to go to for pack smear test to check on their breasts, their vaginas, their, their civics or all these things. Because to be honest, though not funny, huh, one of my very good friends, a church friend, huh, she passed away of civic cancer because she did not go and check out. She spent all her time to take care of her son who is having uh, the, the muscle de uh, deteriorating. You know, my good friends, uh, within two years, he lost his son. No, he lost his wife first of civic cancer. One and a half year later, he lost his son, who is Raphael. He's very close to me because I used to go to his house to teach Bible class. She's on wheelchair. If she's still, uh, if Raphael is still alive, he will be the same age with my elder son, which is 26 years old. Okay, so these are all the things you need to know because it's going to be your, your, your cup of tea next time because you have to know. Because you have to take care of mom, you have to take care of wife, and then the girls, you have to take care of yourself. Correct now? Don't just, just sacrifice your life by not taking care of yourself. Now, children, can we go back to this group here? Can you remember who you are? Before I forgot, huh? So now I want you to go back to the groups and discuss more and also with the war poem. Did I share screen already? No, you are not share screen. Oh, I don't want to share screen. Why cannot? Huh? What, what? What do you see now? Nothing. Huh? 
Oh, okay. Let's go to the breakout room. One, two, three, four. Great. Okay, team one will be uh, Ming Yi and uh, Ming Yang. And then, uh, sorry, uh, give me a while. While, while you're while I'm arranging your groups, can you all start discussing about the war and cloning ones? But like the thing is, we can't let the other group know what we're talking oh, about. Oh, yeah, so yeah. Just counter. Correct, correct. So sorry, yeah, you're right. Uh, let, let me let me arrange. Uh, sorry, I'm a bit blur now. Tian will be three. Warren, Warren will be. So we, we got all our points and we can just one shot. Yeah, then uh, finalize. Then later we'll do the presentations. Uh, okay. Uh, <clears throat> room two. Where is uh, Hao Xuan? I can see uh, Hao Xuan will go to room one. Ming Yi, where are you, Ming Yi? Ming Yi, okay, one, two, three. And who is in the. Yang Zhen, yes. Yang Zhen will be in the. Uh, hey, where I don't. Where, where, how come I cannot find Yang Zhen? Uh? Oh, okay. Sorry, not your fault. Because the thing is too small. Okay. Okay, room one. Uh, Kai Wen Tian Ru will be in uh, room four. Zi Ye Tian Yu, Tian Yu will be in room two. Uh, Xiang Ru will be in. Uh, Chen An, Xiang Ru, Chen An, Guo Ren, Yi Qi will be in room four. So let me see. <coughs> <coughs> Let's go. Oh, Shana, can you go to the room now? Oh, Shen. Hey, Kaiwan, if you don't go and come and collect your tumbler, you have to wait for a while already. All my tumblers sold out already. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Yeah. Wait, where, where's the store at again? Uh, I forgot. Yes, you remember to collect your, your gift for your effort of ego friendly things? Yeah, but like, where do I go to collect it? When um, uh, is that? Yeah. None, right. Nobody's talking. You have to tell me when. Uh. Oh, Shen, okay. turn on your camera. Uh. Min Yang also. Uh. Respect, uh, this is a debate. Uh. I'm very serious. Uh. If you don't want to turn on your camera, you will be out of the debate. Let me tell you your rules of regulation. Uh. I watched. It's a nice movie. I will watch part of Don't Return Yet. Do not understand. It's uh, and, and again, Kanto is very nice. Actually, at first, it was like, very dull, but I like the, the way they go to the rooms. 
then it come up. I like that kind of ideas, really. Okay, let's talk about the rules and regulations. Okay, uh, okay. There's a rule for this. Yes, there's a rule for that, definitely. Okay, so listen carefully. We're going to have team A versus team D and B versus C. Everyone will be given one minute for your presentations. All right. When I say time's up, I will say hand over to the next person. Okay. Even if it's uh, less than one minute and if you finish already, you must say this one. Huh? That's all. Okay. So I want to rest my case. That's all. Then you'll go for the other one. Usually, I will want to start with the war first. Okay. So let's team A and D will start the debate. So everyone will be entitled one minute. So when you hear a sound like a, that means you only left the um, 20 seconds to go, right? So I will use my handphone. <clears throat> Wait, uh. I'll use my stopwatch to, to justify uh. the timer. I, uh, okay, I said the timer is one minute, okay? So are you guys ready? Do I need to share screen? I just let, let it be uh, to share screen. Let me see if I can see the share screen. Am I shares? Wait, how come I cannot? Uh? Hey, don't waste time, don't waste time. Come on, come on. Oh, oh wait, I have like the host ability. Yeah, can can, like, I, can, can we share screen? Yeah, like everyone can share screen. Okay, thank you. So uh, everyone got one minute presentations. Uh? No argument. If I say time's up, you have to stop, you have to stop, okay? Fair enough. All right, let's be gentlemen. Let's be sportsmanship. All right, so team A, if you are ready, Yang Chen, Hao Xian, Ming Yi, and Ming Yang. Uh, Yang Chen, you, um, you guys decide who want to speak first. Please don't wait. Nah. Okay, you must have your team leader there. I don't know who is your team leader. So I will take it as uh, Ming Yang will be the team leader. I originally actually want to go say about cloning. <laughs> Sorry, uh, let's go. Um, you can talk about cloning, but your, yours is you support war. Uh. Team A, you support war. No, no, you support war. It was like default. If you guys wrong about cloning, well, and um, D, that's an auto rule. Team B also talk about cloning. Okay, support cloning. Okay, Yang Chen, you, you may start now. In three, two, one, go. Uh, war is more essential as it is the means of way to make changes quickly and with lesser mess to a situation. For example, uh, when a country's system is outdated, it's bureaucrat aged and leaders incompetent, they will need a way to renew this whole system. And the ways to do that is to war or conflict will bring devastation to the government and then in turn improve the nation as a whole. But the changes that they made might not be second. the ideal one. For example, okay, now my ten second. Okay, never mind. Okay. Yeah, yeah actually, it's a poor coming. You have to say that's all, huh? but well, well done. It's a Okay, it's a good presentation, Yang Chen. I want this kind of presentation, your voice must be clear, must be close to the mic and present well. Now back to Tian Yu, your, I'm uh, sorry, Tian Yu, Zi Ye and Yi Qi, your turn to talk about cloning. Who want to go first? Me. Okay, Yi Qi, in three, two, one, go. One minute. Good evening, everyone. We are Group D and our stand is that cloning is more severe than war. First, let me define the key terms. Cloning is the process of producing individual organisms with identical or virtual identical or oh, yeah. either by natural or artificial means. A cloned individual will not be the same person as his or her donor. Although the donor and the clone will look exactly the same physically as they have the identical genomes, internally, they will be a different individuals. The environment in which we grow up in and the experiment, experiment, experiences that we have throughout our life define us and shape us uniquely as individuals. We need to realize that cloning will produce a baby, not an adult. 
you will have to wait years for the corn to catch up with you and grow to adulthood. Despite corn's look nearly the same, it might be very different in behavior due to different growth conditions. That's all. Time's up. Thank you. Back to Hao Xuan and Ming Yu and Ming Yang. Who is going to go first? Five seconds. If you can't, I will pass to the next person. Who want to go first? I'm going to go now. Okay, Hao Xuan in three, two, Ooh, one. I, I have to find the dog first. Okay, found it. Okay, in three, two, one, you may start. What is the method used between two or more enemies within an amount? What is likely to be like a way to fight without mercy and does it with reason or on purpose? Like, I feel like war is like worse than cloning as dying is never a choice. If you still don't, uh, if you still don't want to listen, right? Okay, pretend. Cloning have a good usage and a bad usage, but then war doesn't have a good usage. Cloning can be used on like cloning food. You can clone plants and clone good uh more ingredients, but but look at war. It has no bright side. Only the bright the only bright side is when the opponent wins the wins the war. So what? Okay. You won, and you sacrifice your soldier and the loved ones. You don't care about them, ah. Uh. Done. That's all. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Back to Team D. Who's turn? Oh, yeah, it's my turn. Team I... D, D, D. Oh, D. Uh, then... My turn. Yes, in three, two, one, so yeah, you may start. <clears throat> um, even if cloning has benefits, it has very little chance of, of succeeding. Cloning is illegal to knowingly create a human clone regardless of its purpose, including terror and reproductive cloning. Most scientists believe that this process of cloning will result in even higher failure rates. Not only does this cloning process have a low success rate, the viable clone su suffers the increase of serious genetic malformation, cancer, or a shortened lifespan. Um, that's all. Thank you. Wow, that is fast. 30 seconds. You barely heard anything. It's very fast, right? Yeah, so the last speaker, I leave it to you. I, I, I can hear what Suye is telling me. Talking and speaking. Back to left, Mingyu and Mingya. Who want to go first? Mingyu and Mingyang. Who want to go first? I can't find second. If not, I pass to okay, Mingyu. Three, two, one, go. War may be more serious than cloning. Although cloning brings back extinct species without a need of fertility. War seems more destructive as it only kills millions of lives and wasted <laughs> resources. The one main thing that can be directly and painfully to us is the sacrifice of our loved ones. The aftermath of war is more gruesome. Sometimes war can trigger natural disasters. One good example are lots of pressures applied to titanic plagues causing earthquake and tsunami. Yeah, and that's the end. Thank you. You still have 20 seconds anyway. But okay. Thank you, Lev. Uh, who's done? Qian Ru. Are you ready? In three, two, one, start now. You might see that cloning is not as alarming in a larger scale compared to war, but that is not exactly true. When Dolly the Sheep was born, it caused great surprise, shock, and fear across the group as well. Imagine a society of people having clones. Some will use it to be productive, but some will misuse them and cause more crimes to be committed, like robberies. Clones and humans might also go into conflict with each other due to the real person treating them like slaves, and this might de-escalate into a war. Thus, if worse comes to worse, cloning will lead to greater bloodshed than war, and most likely will become the next world war. In conclusion, cloning is more severe than war in ways such as belief and morality, usage of clones, and also, it is basically risking lives without a reason when compared to war, which is actually just due to conflicts. That's all? Also leads to larger societies, <laughs> and it leads to greater pacification and greater wealth, which will not help if it is to overthrow the other government. Thank you. Thank you That's for all. Team D. Thank you. Thank you. Left Ming Yang, your turn to sum up your arguments for your team. Ming Yang, in three. Wait, 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 wait. In three, two, one, you may start. 
Okay, war and cloning, they both have their good and bad sides. They have their advantages, disadvantages. They have their pros and cons. So, basically, war, uh, it might be better, it might not. War, war, although people lose millions of lives in wars, they can also, like, if there's a rebellion because the government isn't treating the people properly, then it can be used to change the government and make the the country better but it, uh, and then cloning we can clone back some extinct species and some vulnerable species we can also clone them and then endangered species we can also clone them but if we clone humans then we we already have a problem now we are also having a problem because of overpopulation so now uh, overpopulation is like a problem that is rising because uh, uh, the earth is getting very populated uh, a lot there are like many people that are being born so now like it, it, if, if we like clone even more people then it's like uh, the earth like don't have enough resources to support everyone that's okay. all thank you Thank you for Team A and Team B. Okay, I've already made my votes. So Team B and Team C, you have to tell me which teams is the winner. So Team B, the three of you decide later, tell me. Team C, you also have to tell me. I already made my vote already. I already going to type in later. Don't need to type the answer now. Uh, at the end of the presentation, you'll do it, okay? So now let's go for Team... <clears throat> let's start with... Uh, Let's start with team B. Who want to start first? Uh, I think first. Uh, wait, uh, sorry. Uh. Just we are not starting wait, first. We're not starting first. Wait, wait, oh, okay. Ladies first, no one. No, no, you start first. Team B start first. Cloning start. Bro. Bro. Wait, wait, wait. I'll have all of our. Uh... Wait, 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 wait. Uh, just now, I want you to oh. choose. Listen, uh, I want you to choose one of the best speakers. Among the seven of them, choose one of them. Don't tell me now. Huh? Don't say the answer. Don't send anyone. I want you to choose one of the best speaker and who is the winning team. All right? So back to team B. Uh, you are talking about war cloning. Uh, on hindsight, oh, I think we should like speak second. Or... Yeah, yeah. I honestly think maybe yeah. it's the first one. Chivalry. You know, yeah. you know. Okay, team B, you may start now. Bro, that did not go well. Oh, okay, Kaiwen, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, cloning may be a serious issue. However, in the eyes of some, it is the golden trophy. While a fence sure protects the fence, it also imprisons the protector. We have many reasons why cloning is a threat to society, more so than war. If cloning gets too advanced, it may lead to the revival of certain notorious figures in society, I mean history, such as Hitler or Stalin. We do not know the capabilities of cloning yet currently so by putting cloning as an option on the table it may invite people or believers of these leaders to try and clone them in order to cause more harm this could lead to more war which is already detrimental to society despite that cloning remains the root source of this problem and hence is more serious than war thank yeah, you that's that's, thank you well done team c who want to go first um, okay, Chanana, in three, two, one, let's go, Chanana. Let's see, you have a thousand dollars you have to spend on a petition. Will you give it to a charity advocating for punching war around the globe or your support a fundraiser for duplicating mice? You may not have the answer just yet, but let me tell you a story of a girl living through war. Fireworks, bangs, shouts. For you, this may be your average Chinese New Year celebration, but for us, it's an anxiety routine you must force to go through, a seemingly internal cycle of gunshots and bloodshot, bloodshed. And each night, we better our drowsiness with fear of wave of attacks that will land on us if we sleep, fell asleep. Or you are meddling with replicating pre-existing DNA of bad bacteria and simple life forms that probably no one cares about. When the preservation of own our own DNA is under severe risk, smoke heavy air, dense coppery mass of blood, constant depression and anxiety, when our senses, senses are clogged with this, we, we still bet an idea about two identical ships. Um, I'm done. Well done. Okay, thank you. 
wow, that was a good attack back to the cloning. As what war is all about, it remind me of one of the lady in the real life. Let's back to Team B. Who's the next? Ten you? Is it Ten you? Yeah, wait, he just wanna just say my yes. Three, two, one, yeah. go. All right, so I think that cloning is detrimental to society as if cloning becomes too advanced, people might make an infinite army. An infinite, an infinite army, as the name suggests, a disposable endless army of, uh, of human killing machines or even workers. Such activities will bring economy into ruins and cause large scales large scales of destruction, far from just a war. This type of destruction will affect our ways in many, will affect our, our way of life in many ways. So I also agree on this point as mostly like if, if infinite army actually becomes a thing, like there will just be constant war or, and, and like the, there will be no peace among all the countries. That's all? That's time. That's Thank all. you. Back to Team C. Who's that? Warren or Xiang Ru? Me. Xiang Ru, huh? Yes. Okay, in three, two, one, all yours. War shatters communities and families. It's what I have so often see around me. Seen around me. Everywhere people are dying, losing their jobs, having their life annihilated, watching their loved one step on a path of no return, no, yeah. Our youngs, my si younger siblings included, are going through trauma that no children should experience. This develops an ideal of me for mental illness and hunting shadows, which will be a part of them forever. They will grow up thinking, uh, thinking death and gunfire is normal. And even as they move to a more powerful nation, peaceful nation they would still assume that the world is the dark this is this dark evil place filled with scent of death and it is if people like you who think they are doing the entire population a huge a huge favor for studying two bacterial genetic codes instead of thinking about what you can do to actually help the troubled people to us you are not clever or wise you just want to flaunt and boost that you are doing something for humanity. All we can see are the civilians getting merc merciless slaughtered for not obeying the ridiculous harsh rules and brave rebels face horror you never even dreamed of. The enemies killed approximately 6 million innocent people. Locals also need to go to war. Maybe it could be even your father or son. Imagine your divorce. Imagine your devastation to know that their family died in war. The okay. country's loss will. Carry on, carry on. Uh, the country's war will also experience drastic changes that the people may not get used to, and the country will spiral into even more conflict among the people. Shortages of food and resource will also be common as a country is spending most of their resource on military force. Most times, the rations provided is not enough to feed one person, much less a whole family starvation have become such a norm uh, that, is, that it is nearly impossible to come across a well-fed person who has not suffered from illness brought by food insecurity. That's all. Thank you. Definitely more than one minute, honey. Okay. So your turn. Yeah. You are the last one, right? Um, actually, because they have four people and we have three, we actually have one extra point per pack. No, three, three. Wait, what? He also got three. Oh, all right, all right, all right. No all problem. Right. You can finish up the points. You can finish all up. Right. I give you more than one minute in three, two, one. Let's go. All right. Okay, I personally think that cloning is a bigger threat due to the fact that there are many extinct animals that are dangerous. In the reckless pursuit of science, one tends to move past their morals and cause huge damage. Just imagine if the Tyrannosaurus Rex came back, how much rampage and destruction would just one dinosaur cause? Fighting dinosaurs is far more dangerous than going head to head with another soldier or warrior on the battlefield. 
it's a deaf wish to continue this cloning and therefore I think that cloning is more serious. Cloning these extinct animals will not only cause will not only cause the loss of many lives, it will also cause the economy to collapse because these extinct animals are rare and people will start bidding prices on these people, these uh, extinct animals. This goes past our entire morale to make, to, to make cloning a thing. An another point of um another point that we would like to emphasize that cloning is more serious is the possibility of harvest. If, for example, you had an infinite number of humans, you could easily use an another human's memories, organs, and a human life becomes nothing more than just a disposable object. People could take and give no matter how much they want. And they could these clones could be used to satisfy each and every human's every need. This plummets the value of human life to nothing more than just a puppet in the hands of a puppet master. We are being, if cloning became an actual thing, we are being controlled by the very thing that deceives us. This is not the way we want our society to progress. When, when everything becomes uniform, we lose the very diversity that creates the fabric of our world. So cloning is not just a very threat to a human life, it's a the threat it's a threat to our entire existence that's all thank you thank you okay quadrant the last but not the least reserved for the best hopefully all your scoring in three two one you may start now so as you can see war not only affects innocent people in the countries that are involved in battle but also it affects the economy of other countries around the world too as it disrupts trade and ex exhaust resources, this also means that the economy around the world will be disturbed. Other countries will not receive the resources they need, leading to poor living conditions all across the globe. All while you sit in a lab, peering through a microscope, looking at minuscule problems literally at the back of everyone's minds right now. Imagine that it is your house getting bombed, soldiers bursting into your houses and unleashing a massive shutdown, having to live in fear all day. Would you still think about the prospect of the future when your present life may be lost? Well, I suppose things do go differently for cloning. People supporting cloning claim that it is for the greater future of humanity. But just think of it this way. Resources that could be otherwise spent on helping people affected by wars build a better life is spent on cloning. Our conditions and life may, lives may be endangered, but if it's... Uh, but if resources that is, could be spent on cloning is spent on us, nothing really happens except that we may actually improve. Hence, this shows that war is more important than cloning. Hence, so, before we can dive into this advanced technology, I think that we should focus on more pressing matters at hand, namely war. Now, I have to ask you this. Why are you so insistent on the literal abstract concept instead of helping people with realistic ways? You say that cloning can destroy- Can I attack back? Can I attack back? Oh, no, no, no. Stop it, honey. Cannot interrupt. Carry on, Warren. You say that cloning can destroy the world in future, but wars are literally already destroying the world and all the people in it. That's all? Thank you. I'm Thank you. Here. Okay, no fight back, no fight back, no fight back. Well done. The last part got me there. The last part got me there. I thought we were going second. <laughs> okay. Team A. Who is the winner for Team B and C? Have you all decided? Okay, all go and discuss among yourself for one minute and tidy out your essay. Do it nicely and send it to the Google Classroom. If possible, email to me or uh, WhatsApp me, okay? I need it now. Huh? And it's well done now. Huh? This is the first time I'm gonna stand up and bow to all of you. Well done. This is the first time I do a Zoom with a debate of 13 leaders giving their enthusiasm, their passions, their great discussions, their research, their brainstorming, their arguments, everything in. Well done. Okay. Tidy up in one minute, then we're gonna to get to see who is the winner for team A, team B, or team C, or team D. Who is the best speaker for each team? I really select my two speaker, in fact, four speaker. Uh. 
It's a very close fight for one of the team. Uh. Okay. Wait, hey, Uncle or Uncle Raymond? I thought yes. like they should have like rebuttal as well. I, I, I didn't hear your last part, what, your conversation, sorry. Um, I thought like a debate should have like rebuttal as well. Yes, definitely, yes. If we're going to rebut, uh, it will be until 10 30. Uh. <laughs> yes, I agree. <laughs> <Not right. coughs> oh, we'll just be standing like no. <coughs> Next week, we're going to rebut back. Okay, but we will hold on to this first. We, we can't rebut now because it's not, um, it will be very long. It's not fair to other teams. So late, next month, uh, no, next month, next week, uh, we will have time to make your argument, make your stand, okay? But definitely I agree with you, Warren. Yes, debate is supposed to be like that. Well, I disagree agree with Han Ling. Well, uh, I disagree with Warren. Well, I agree with Tian Ru. Well, I think uh, Kai Wen, the answer is good or something like that. Or yes, I disagree with so-and-so. All right, team A, who do you think B or C is the winner? B. Team A is got to do with uh, Yang Chen. You are the leader. Tell me who is the winner. Have you discussed with your team member? If you don't give me an answer, you will end up at 10 o'clock. Huh? So go, Yang Chen, go and discuss with your team now. Hurry up. Okay, go and Google and type uh, whatever you want. Team B, who is the winner for team A and D? We have come to a um, conclusion after a bit of discussion in D. Yeah, D for the ladies, huh? Thank you. What about team Sim. Team C? It wasn't do well at all. Team C, do you think team A or team D? Team C? Um we we were like a bit torn, but I think we uh we think that D is better. D for Denmark, huh? Okay, thank you. Two for, for team D. All right, so uh, team B. Who is the winner for, you know, cannot B already say already, huh? A, 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 have you said already? A, A, who is the winner, B or C? Team A, B or C? C. No, no, team A, team A, team A, team A, B or C, I'm asking team A. So what's your favorite letter? Team A is, you have to decide the winner is B or C because there's some B and C was talking, you see. So team D, you say uh, C, right? Yeah, okay, C. C, yeah, C, C, C. C for yourself, Lord. C for myself. <laughs> okay. I want you all to vote who is your speaker. I don't know whether you agree with me. So this is my answer. Okay. Uh, I think among the four speaker, okay, Quarant, definitely as usual, you are always that good. But I think- We got destroyed. We actually got destroyed. Uh, uh, Quarant, yeah, definitely is good. But I think uh, Chen An, you really impressed me for the start of your introduction, sir. Okay. You're very joyous and, and uh, very uh, lively characters really spark off the, the, the debate well, the, the introduction well. And of course, um, Yang Chen, I like the way you discuss the point. <clears throat> Yichi, very calm and good, very confident. Uh, among the four, to be honest, I really like Hao Xian, the, the way he speak. I think he's not prepared in advance of all the notes, in my opinion. I may be wrong on Hao Xian, but he's able to use his own words, his own thoughts, or maybe with some of the pointer that he has, as well as the team member, he can gel it and complete it. Uh, this is not for favorism. Uh. Sorry, I don't do that. Uh. But I think he deserved that, 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 that good uh, speaker award. But C and D is, yeah, is my opinion that I think the girls as well really prepare well. And yeah, the power to the ladies. Well done. All right, guys. All of you kept this. Oh. Hey, guys, what's the momentum clap for them? Yes, yes, true, true. You see, ah, let's go. Well done. 
I think you all have done a good job and I really appreciate the, your discussion. Some of the points are very well written. I think I've done a very good research on this. You mean I made the, my speech a script? Ah? Ah, Ming Yang, Ming Yi. No, I didn't make a speech. I really prepared a speech in advance with you. <laughs> no, I think you all know. Okay, don't worry. There are more to come, guys. Next time will be guys versus guy, girl versus girl. That's uh, right. Okay. Fine. So maybe I will change, become team A versus team C, team B. This is actually unfair. Okay, this will be the grouping like that. Uh. I won't change it already. Okay. Okay, Ken. So this will be the grouping. So because I find that you all got this congeality, you got the, this the teamwork, got this uh what do you call the the, the same frequency, same uh same page and same thinking. Very good. So please send me your homework now. Now. Okay, can you send to me now? Okay, Quarren, that's why I, I don't worry. So yeah, you got my email, Han Ling. Uh, Kai Wen, you got my email also, right? Send to me. Uh, Ming Yi, you got my email, send to me. By tomorrow, if I don't receive it, I will be very upset, huh? okay? So don't uh, need to- send it to you right now. Okay, please, I think I want to collate. I, you know why, children? I want to show it to my set three and set four students. Okay, at the same time, can you guys please spend some time to write the war poem? Okay, let, let me end with the, this one. Uh. Show you. Uh. You see, this is a P4. It's here. We are the P4. Yes, it's here. Are you there, it's here? Yes, yes. You know it's who about is this drive, person? It's about power. We you know who is this person? You spell my sister name wrong. Huh? It's Y U X U A N. Y U X U A N. Yeah, correct. Not correct. Not correct. Huh? Sorry, sorry. Yeah. yeah. This one was written by him, by her, like, by him. By him. Uh, Grandma. These two very good chemistry. Yeah? She's a very nice guy. So when we are breakout rooms, they come out this. Is it? Uh, this is done by not uh, this is another person. Uh. It's now in your class now. I like this, I like the, the story. Uh. This one should be the story. Uh. Very well written, uh, Han Ling. Very well written, seriously. Okay, if he can come out this, I think I expect all of you to come out. It's a mass. Uh. I want to see the war poems inside my Google Classroom because I'm going to list up all the war poems and to select the best more volumes in each level as well. I don't have Google. I don't, I'm not inside Google Classroom. Ming Yi, you don't need to You can send that email to me. WhatsApp to me, I can. Right? There's so many channels to send. I'm sending it now. Ah, no, no problem. Huh? Next time, 